Hi guys, in this video we'll be talking about how to solve for an interest rate if we're dealing with a uh, compound interest problem. Okay, so here we go. Sum of $1,000, that's your principal, was invested for 10 years. So we are given the time. The interest was compounded semi-annually, semi which means that it's going to happen twice a year, so the N in our formula is going to be 2. If this sum amounted to $2,088.15, so if that's my final amount, A, then what is the interest rate? That means we're solving for R in our formula. That's the question. Our formula then, A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N to the NT, will now become this. 2,088.15 is equal to the starting amount of 1,000 times 1 plus the R that I don't know divided by 2 because it's semi-annually raised to the 2 times 10 power. Now let's start simplifying things as quick as we can. Ready? Here we go. First step in every single problem is divide by the principal. So we're going to divide both sides by 1,000. You've heard me say that in the previous two videos, so if you need to know why, uh, go back and watch the first video. On the right-hand side, I do not round this at all. It's 2.008815. I have to keep every single decimal in there. That's equal to 1 plus r over 2 raised to the 20th power. Okay, now, remember my goal here is to get the r by itself. And I look at this thing and it says, you know what, I've got something raised to the 20th power. Okay, so let's go back and let's talk about how we can attack a problem like that. If I had x raised to like the 6th power was equal to like 64, the way that I would solve for the x is I would raise both sides to the 1 6th power. Because when I raise a power to a power, I multiply. And 6 times 1 6th is just 1. So basically what happens is I have x to the 6th raised to the 1 6th, that's x to the first power, that's just x. x is 64 raised to the 1 6th power. Let's take that philosophy, that process, and let's apply it to this formula here. I have something in this case raised to the 20th power. So the way that I get rid of it is I take both sides and I raise it to the 1 20th power. Everything on the right hand side gets raised to the 1 20th power. So I have this chunk of stuff raised to the 20th and then raised to the 1 20th, so these two cancel out. I'm left with on the right hand side just 1 plus r over 2. The right hand side is going to be a pretty messy decimal. Okay, It's 2.08815. That's an unrounded decimal to the 1 20th power. So we're getting pretty close, right? So here we go. Ready? 2 point, whoops, excuse me, 2.08815 raised to the parentheses 1 20th power. The parentheses are, are absolutely important here. That's what I get. So it's 1.037, and I'm not going to round this value. I'm going to leave it stored in the memory of my calculator. 1.037 is equal to 1 plus r divided by 2. Right? We're getting pretty close. Next step is when I get this value, I need to subtract the 1 from both sides. That gives me just the r over 2 on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, it's going to be the 0 .037, 0 0.037 now, right? So on my calculator, I'm just going to subtract 1. Unrounded, notice. And now the last step is to get the r by itself. It's cut in half right now, so I need to double both sides. I need to multiply both sides times 2. That gets rid of this. The interest rate is going to be times 2. 0.0749999999, right? So the interest rate is 0.0749999. Okay, now that's a decimal form of a number. So just remember, all we do then is we multiply by 100, or we move the decimal point over two spots. It's 7.4999999, which we can round up to 7.50% is the interest rate. So there's the percentage format. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, the, what was the big step here? It was plugging stuff in and dividing by the principal first, just like we always did. But then once you see the 20th power, we raise both sides to the 1 20th, okay, to get rid of the exponent. And that's how we have to proceed. Hopefully that makes sense. In the next problem, I'll be working on some radioactive decay. Let's work on something besides bank account problems.